Harmonizations of operations of standard bodies in East Africa now means that goods traded among these countries are not subjected to further inspection as long as they have the mark of quality inspection from any of the member countries. To enhance the process, the Kenya Bureau of Standards has partnered with various inspection bodies around the world to ensure that goods are inspected in the countries of origin and are not subjected to further inspection once they arrive into the country. To this end, CABS is calling on importers to work with authorized inspection bodies in countries of origin. We may allow them into the country, and as a matter of fact, we allow them into the country, subject to these products meeting our standards which therefore means that we will subject them to what we call destination inspection at the port of Mombasa or at the airport. Samples will be taken into our laboratories for testing at your own cost. And before we get those results, your goods will be at the port or at the airport. And chances that you will start, you will incur other costs like damage are very high. Because some of these tests take several days, depending on what it is that we are testing. KEBS is conducting random checks on already inspected goods imported into Kenya. Being a quality institution, we'll do random sampling. But random sampling does not necessarily mean that you will be inspected. Your cargo may not be inspected for, for quite some time. However, when we do random sampling and we find a pattern of non-compliance, on products coming from your factory, from your company, then we change the risk profile of your company from low, because when they come with the COC, it's low, to high. Ongoye was speaking during the opening of a Kenya-India buyer-seller meeting to promote Indian agricultural products in Kenya. Here, Indian agricultural investors were urged to set up their manufacturing and value addition systems locally to reduce the cost of production and easily access the Eastern African market. India was exporting leather to, to Europe, but China started fighting. India is importing leather from Kenya and processing and, and fighting. That means leather from Kenya is available cheaper and blue tan and, and the wet blue which is going to India, they are doing the processing and sending it here. That means if you do it from Kenya, it will be still cheaper and you can fight China. Value addition technology showcased range from those to increase the shelf life of foods as well as packaging and processing of various agricultural produce.